Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to the fifth and last webinar of the Climate Savers Week dedicated to Industry 5.0. I met most of you already four times, and you have seen that the systematic waste prevention is applicable to all industries, all segments, and the work of all of you, no matter what you are doing. So let's summarize. I have prepared two presentations. The first one is specially prepared for this session. But the second one, it was prepared for many months and it is prepared for the participants and organizers of COP26, which is starting in two days in Glasgow. So I will share both of, both of them with you. And I hope we will be, you will be able and we will be able to discuss about them. So let's start with the first one. Let me share the screen with you. And come to you with very clear definition. So what is the global impact of Industry 5.0, which you already feel it's much more than just a name? The global perspectives are very simple. The systematic waste prevention would become a standard of national, so as international legislation. The waste legislation will be reviewed and updated to encourage waste reduction, because at the moment, in, it encourage to be more waste to be produced. Local food, water, people and resources will be all the time preferred and prioritized, so as supported. The dependence on loans and financial support of third parties and external resources would be decreasing with the increase of the fortune found under our own carpets. The allocation of internal financial resources would become transparent and efficient, which once again is not the case at the moment. And the national debt will turn continuously into national surplus, which will be utilized for the development of the country. Sharing benefits among population will create strong and independent nations. And that's important. And to show how it may impact the industries, I took one chart this is the on the left side, which has been presented on LinkedIn a few days ago, where one of the users of the members has presented that the value of Tesla motors is at the moment bigger than the value of all the others, other uh, car makers together. When I look at the numbers, I decided to make another chart, which does not look so nice, but it expressed clearly what I would like to express. And I put there the others and Tesla next to the value of industry 5.0. And you see, even if both join together, they are almost invisible comparing to Industry 5.0. The value of Industry 5.0 is 475 trillion US dollars. 
So it is much more than what is being presented on the so nicely and well-made chart. How we can reach this stage? First was that we are changing the mindset of people and many of you and all of you who ever listen to my words to any of my keynotes has the mindset changed then we have to implement this change mindset into national and international legal frameworks. So in a form of waste prevention legislation. This legislation was introduced on September 1st, 2021. And already now some governments are considering the implementation. So here it is, and here are the details. It's separated in two parts. One is the waste prevention, and the second is dedicated to wasting. And you will see more in a minute. So it's very simple. First, nothing that can be used or utilized again must become waste. Everything must be considered primary as a pre-waste existing resource, part of the underground mines, and remain in the system. The secondary use or utilization is not limited to the primary function of a product or material and can be executed by everyone, respecting the regulations and safety conditions. Collecting, sorting, Belling, transportation, and trade are not considered anymore secondary utilization. If not utilized on the original location, it must be offered to others before being wasted. And the last but not least, if we do not waste, there will be no waste. And waste is the product of wasting. So let's define wasting. Wasting is a process in which product or material of any kind and volume become waste. And you can see your own waste legislation of your country, how waste is defined. Wasting is a system failure and must be prevented first without any limitation or legal restrictions. Wasting is not a feature of a product or material, but it is the result of human behavior. And single use represents one of the most applied forms of wasting. Those who know me longer know very well that I am writing a lot, have mo more posts on LinkedIn than the entire IKEA last year. But trust me, I need eight years to define this baseless legal framework. For eight years I know and I try to describe waste prevention the definition which will be applicable. It's not only for a national framework. This legislation can be applied in a factory. It can be applied in a school, in organization, in a municipality. It can be applied everywhere. There is no limit and no restriction. This will help to generate less waste. And this is what it is all about. So let's remind what is Industry 5.0. Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever, led by man, by human. It's a new mindset of people and businesses from wasteful to wasteless. 
It delivers results without the need of capital investment and it's based on the principles of systematic waste prevention called industrial upcycling. It utilizes the existing on the ground mines or existing resources and is based on transparency, profit sharing and efficiency. And please understand, Industry 5.0 is not a sales tool or a buzzword or a product. It's entire new global ecosystem. And let me remind you on one. We are living in the age of digitalization of our work. For two years, we digitalized the education of our children. And our leisure time, thanks to TV and computers, is being digitalized for a long time already. So it looks like that the only thing which is missing is to digitalize the human. This is the home how in which digitalized human will live. Because data don't need any light. But this is the planet which I decided to rebuild and which Industry 5.0 is helping to create. My name is Mike Rada. I am a human. And I'm the founder of Industry 5.0. And I hope with this speech, with these keynotes, with these webinars, you will join us. You will join me. There are 77 Industry 5.0 ambassadors representing Industry 5.0 on a global scale. We are giving the access to systematic waste prevention to 65% of global population. And this despite the fact that China is still not on board. It is your decision in which home, on, on which world you would like to live whether on a global landfill or on a planet, which we can call so nicely blue marble or the cherub of universe. It is us who decide. It is us who can deliver the change. And the planet itself is not the limit. Don't forget that we have 170 million pieces of space trash on the orbit. And don't export our wasteful behavior to other planets or to the moon. So that's all for this workshop. But let's see whether we can follow up with some discussion or if I should follow up with the presentation dedicated to United Nations. But as I see, I see questions coming. Okay. So, hi. Nice to see all of you. I see you are from all, you are coming from all around the globe, India, China, nice. Norway, USA, Brazil, it's great to see you all. I'm sorry that you cannot, uh, I cannot visualize your images or the comments which you are placing on the other platform, but I am happy you are here. So let me answer some of your questions. How old I am? What do you think? Uh, I am 50. In two months, I will be 50 years old. Or no, sorry, I will be 50 years young. And second question, uh, when I started, I started when I was 42. Before I was for 23 years as an employee. And in the final stage of my employment, 
I was quite on a high position within the second largest Japanese corporation. And I decided to leave and start to build new world. And since then I, do, I am doing it. I'm utilizing the experience which I have collected and the expertise in logistics. Where I'm living, I am living in the Czech Republic, Czechia, in a city of Plzeň, which is about 75 kilometers to the west from our capital called Prague. And all of you are welcome, because in this place from which I am speaking with you, every single piece of furniture was made by my hands from the obsolete product, except of my chair. So it's a unique place in the world. You will not see anything like this anywhere in the world. And it's not just my opinion, it's the opinion of the visitors, which some of them are, are famous architects, artists, uh, scientists. And all of them, when they came in, they say, wow, and start to play. Because it looks like a big playground, and it is. Because in the 6R methodology, you need creativity and curiosity to be able to deliver the results. So once you will be heading to Czech Republic, please put in your timetable the city of Pilsen. Among others, this is the birthplace of Pilsen beer, Pilsen Urquell, and uh, as well as the birthplace of Industry 5.0. The next question, do I deal with oceans? Oceans are on the planet. They are very important, same as the water. You will find a keynote related to water in, in the list of already delivered keynotes. So yes, ocean is important. What do I think about the ocean cleanup project? I'm sorry, but it's a fail. Not the intention, but 70 million US dollars has been wasted to collect less waste than one factory produce in a single day. It was a promise, empty promise. And I don't think it's right to invest in promises. I think it should be invested in a real running projects, delivering the results already for boosting up the results. Brian Slot has a dream in his bath tube. And he spoke about it so well that 70 million US dollar has been collected to fulfill this dream. But it never became reality because he did not wake up. If the same amount will be invested in other projects or share of it, including Industry 5.0, the impact will be globally visible already. It will be very similar to the impact of COVID. What do I think about recycling? Recycling is a great idea in bad hands. It is correct to use and utilize and collect material and re reuse it again. But in the hands of waste industry, it become a tool to create more waste without the real recycling and closing the loop. Unfortunately, the waste industry, which is at the moment the third most profitable industry in the world, and it's going to become the second, use the water recycling to lie to the people and to let them create more waste than it was any time before. What is shame? 
is that we have to, I have to write the waste prevention legislation because it was never in a human history, never ever, that similar legislation was needed to change the direction of the global development. Not a single generation, not a single nation wasted more than we do at the moment. So recycling is a lie. I can share with you the article which you will find in the Wasteless World Story. That's my blog and the diary of Industry 5.0 for the last seven years. How can I become ambassador? So, first of all, to become an ambassador, you have to be in a country where no ambassador is at the moment or where the ambassador is changing for some reason. There, can, there is one rule, one country, one ambassador. The size of the country doesn't matter. Same will be in Monaco, same will be in India or USA or Canada or Brazil or many other countries. The reason is not that I do not want to let more people to become ambassadors, but the limit is me. I am leading the network. I am leading directly the ambassadors. And I don't think I would be able to lead more than 193 ambassadors, which is the official count according to United Nations official count of countries on the planet. The unofficial goes up to 236, but the official one is 193. Plus two observers, so we can speak about 195 to 96. And I don't feel like to be able to lead more than 196 directly. The indirectly, I hope my message goes to 7.8 billion people because everyone in the world every single one of you can prevent ways happen and do it now immediately without any limitation or hesitation sorry i can't read it it's in chinese i would prefer if you can write in english please because Otherwise, I have to translate and it will disturb uh, it will disturb the session. What is the most popular product I made? Hmm. I don't know. Every single item which I was able to make by my hands, I love. And it's loved by the people who get it. No matter whether it was a piece of clothing, accessory, fashion accessory, or whether it was a table or chair. In my office, I will answer a different way. The most popular chair in my office is this one. Yes, it doesn't look fancy. It's, it's not made out of gold or precious metals. It's not big, it's not small. It's made out of, out of cardboard cores and seven layer cardboard. And it is the most favorite one by the visitors because it's very, very comfortable. But there are many. Do you work abroad? 
because the Industry 5.0 Ambassadors Network is in 77 countries, the answer is yes. For myself, I make webinars on universities, on the schools, in companies, usually being supported by the ambassadors. And so the answer is yes. I do work globally, so as locally. What is the size of a company you will work with? I work for a company which has just five employees. And I work for a company, or I make a workshop for a company who has one million employees. The size doesn't matter. There are only two things which are connecting every single industry. The first one is money. And it is fine because you can do business only if you generate profit. As long as you do not hurt anybody, then it's fine. And everybody speaks about, just look at the Forbes or Fortune or Financial Times or anywhere else. But the second one, nobody speaks about, it's waste. But it is present, same as wasting. And because everybody speaks about this one, I choose this one to take care about. And it works. What was interesting that at the very beginning, I did not know that the waste company will be against everything uh, connected to waste prevention. So I make a meetings and appointments to the bosses of all the big players on the market. And I presented the waste prevention all listen. And at the end, when I ask, will you join me? They said, no. Sorry, Mr. Rada. You will never be able to prevent even one kilo of waste in a factory. And they say goodbye. Today, I prevented more than 1 million metric tons. And the number is growing every single day because of the network because of the fact that more than 2 million people listen and read my messages related to systematic waste prevention, and then they do apply in their own life and work. So the answer again is yes, there is no limit. Even what is maybe interesting and sounds interesting is that the very first project, which I, I made my first video for that uh, on my YouTube channel was a project which started uh, Richard Branson, the, uh, the founder of Virgin and uh, Jaguar Land Rover at the time. And it was a challenge for the flight into the space. Why I would like to do that? Because if I would like to implement the systematic waste prevention, I have to see the environment. And I know on orbit there is 170 million pieces of space trash. So I need to see it to be able to propose a solution. At the end, unfortunately, the challenge was canceled because of the death of the cosmonauts astronomers which which astronauts which has been killed by the rocket blast and first this year first people get on the orbit as in a private way uh, so that's about is there any expansion possibility? What are the plans? Yes. We are in 77 countries and there are 193. We have a, enough space to enter. What is the expansion? There are multiple ways or multiple directions in which we will go simultaneously. The first one is to 
have more companies which will start to pre one ways happen and get the countries on board with the legislation. But the second one is aiming to the other waste categories, which we recognize in Industry 5.0, which I defined at the very beginning. There is a physical waste, which we aim already now, but there are three more. This is the social waste, which are people and animals and maybe plants, which are not able to live meaningful life. Because if speaking about people, they have a wrong education, a wrong age, a wrong skin color, a wrong religion. The list of something what can be wrong is very long. And this is usually the list why you will not be employed. But this does not mean that the people does not want to live meaningful life. It's just mean that they do not fit a job which does not deliver meaningful work. And work is a big part of meaningful life. And when I speak about the animals and plants, are we sure they live meaningful life? If they end up on our plates or being just grown up to end up on plate? We have to do something about it. We have to do something about the Rohingya, one million Rohingya people living in other country in a camp. On the world where cities, ghost cities are built and are existing. Some of them are in China. Some of them are in the US. We have places, we have homes, but we don't use them and utilize them the right way. We waste them, in fact. And we has, have to stop this wasting. And if we speak about buildings and factories, we speak about urban waste. This is the third category of waste. In every single city, including yours, there are empty flats, empty buildings, empty factories, and probably, and unfortunately, in your city will be living people which are homeless. Why? And there are new greenfield factories are being built in the same cities where the old ones are already built. Why has, I have to ask again, why not to utilize the existing to deliver the change? Because this is the best way how to save money, time, and deliver immediate solution. And there is the fourth category. And this is a process waste. The process waste is everywhere. You will find it at your home. You will find it on the road. You will find it in a factory, in an office, in a bank, in a hospital, everywhere. It's a process waste. It has many forms. One of them, for example, are the trucks which are going empty instead of carrying a cargo. According to the European Commission, there are 64% of those on a European Union roads. And have you ever considered that more than 50% of the, of the shipping containers which are crossing the continents and the oceans are shipped empty, carrying just the air and the railway cargo wagons. I am riding every day to my, to my job and to my home on electric unicycle. I don't know whether some of you ever heard about it, but this is a device which I'm parking in my office. So this here, 
you see the sides. It's electric unicycle. This is not a toy. It has a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. And on a single charge, I, I can go up to 100 kilometers. And when I am riding through the cities, I see among others the fact that there are 95% of all cars, no matter of the size of the car, have only one passenger. 95%. And the passenger is the driver himself or herself. <coughs> And that's a process waste. And there is one more. Just allow me to take a drink. Oh, you see, I drink from a plastic bottle. But I don't consider myself to be a criminal. Because I do avoid another process waste. And this is single use. Even if this bottle is called single use bottle, I never use it just a single time. I refill it again and drink it. And when I see it's not really anymore for drinking, I put there a water and water my flowers with it. And you can do a lot of things with plastic bottles. And I am sure the ambassadors will help you to find another solutions. Because you don't have to crash the bottle to, to use it again. No. And there is one more thing. Please don't consider plastic as evil. It's not. Plastic is another form of crude oil. You can compare it to ice and water. The ice is hard, the water is soft, but they are same material, just in slightly different form. And this is exactly what is valid for plastic. For more than 50 years, 50, five, zero, exists a methodology co called pyrolyze, which under a pressure and heat, turn the plastic back to crude oil or any form of oil. And that's the way how we work, how it's being processed. So we don't have to use and utilize a single use called item just a single time. And if you will see in industries, or if you will be in industries, 64% of wooden packaging is being used just a single time and is being thrown away without being broken. 75 of cardboard boxes are being used just a single time and are thrown away without being damaged. And so I can continue. So you see, it's not about the material. It's about the way how we use it and utilize it. The evil is in our mindset because it was put the name single use in it. And when we once hear it, oh, single use is no trouble. We just throw it away. Before this, Webinar, I just have a online meeting with a new Industry 5.0 ambassador in Qatar. She is doing beach cleaning for five years, more than 150 times. She clean up the beaches. And we came to one point. I asked Shreya, how did it, how does it change? Is there less waste after these five years on the beach or more? And she smiled and said, Michael, unfortunately more. 
And this has to do something with the psychology of human brain. Because if you come somewhere where you may trash and you come the next day there and there is clean, the brain says, okay, why not to trash again? Because it will be clean up. This is why I am not a favor of a global earth cleanup day or a Czech Vichyštěte Česko or any similar. Because if you clean up after the others, they will never learn that they should stop wasting and they should change their own behavior. Uh, I am sorry, there is no time to deliver the or to share the COP26 keynote. You have so many nice questions and I will try to answer all the rest during the day, during the weekend. So please leave me your emails. And please understand, I did not mention one thing which is important for you probably, because many of you will be living in countries where the ambassadors has already been assigned. So even if the ambassador role is assigned, there is a way how to cooperate with us. We have set up a second level. Uh, we call it Industry 5.0 Hero. And everyone can become a hero. There can be billion heroes all around the globe. And one advantage of a hero, which generally is supporting the ambassador, what advantage? One hero can support ambassadors in many countries, but one ambassador is responsible, responsible just for his country. Can help the others, but it's responsible for his country. So you can become Industry 5.0 heroes, and I hope you will do so. Just contact me. You will find me on Michael, or you can write me on michael.rada.gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Google, uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the best. Twitter, Instagram, I don't know. But LinkedIn is the best. There I have a profile and I share most of the things uh, on LinkedIn. And let me say goodbye to you. Have a nice time, free of waste and wasting in all its forms. And stay safe. See you on the construction site of Wasteless World soon. Bye bye. And please do not remember, we have only one aim to build Wasteless World for all. Have the same. Bye-bye.